So now that we've used a distance formula to write an equation, let's see if we can derive the equation of a parabola using the distance formula again. So we are going to do PD equals PF. And so that will be, let us label PD. So this one will be my X sub 1. This will be my Y sub 1. Then up at the top, it will be my x sub 2 and my y sub 2. So this is the square root of x minus x squared plus y minus a minus p squared equals, on the other side, square root of x minus 0 squared plus y minus p squared. <clears throat> so we will simplify. We know that the x minus x squared cancels. And so what we're left with is square root of parentheses y plus p squared equals the square root of x squared plus y minus p squared. Now we have to square both sides to get rid of the square roots. So we square both sides, get rid of the square roots. Now we have y plus p squared <coughs> equals x squared plus parentheses y minus p squared. And so if we do FOIL and multiply it out on this left side, it becomes y squared plus 2py plus p squared equals x squared plus y squared minus 2py plus p squared. And so if we simplify, if I subtract y squared from both sides, that goes away. If I subtract p squared from both sides, that also goes away. So now we have 2py equals x squared minus 2py. So let's add 2py to both sides. Now I have 4py equals x squared. I want to isolate my y, so let's divide by 4p. Now our final equation is y equals 1 over 4p and then x squared. This is the formula that we're going to use. And so to summarize, after all of that, I know we used a distance formula before to solve it, so we don't need it anymore. Now we just have the formula y equals 1 over 4px squared. Now the focus in directrix, we talked about this, that each lie p units from the vertex. A p units from the vertex. Parabolas can also open left or right. In which case, the equation has the form x equals 1 over 4p y squared. When the vertex is, this is specifically when the vertex is at the origin at 0, 0.